commentary, gameplay, walkthrough is what all this is going to continue to be. Not burned beyond recognition, as I recall. It was the smoke, you see. One day, you'll be joining them in the Oxford family vault, I imagine. For me, it's been the whole nine yards trying to think up what to say, what to do. It's getting quite humidly hot where I am. Really do wish I lived, considering our country is not known for heat. It c it's telling a sad, sorry story. I'm starting to see banana plantations propping up all over the place to replace strawberry patches. Now, if that doesn't scream the fact that things are changing, I don't know what will for a while. News speaks of what news speaks of. Okay, so we're entering uh, one of those lovely secret passages. I just looked back at our previous episode, so I could tell you a recap. We had seen the carpenter. He told us to go and collect bits and bobs for his play. We ran into their incredibly drunk Scottish octopus writer and managed to get the play from him. We have encountered their incredibly tone-deaf... Um, bottle fish which is in charge of the music which despite apparently needing some musical things to make her um, back in tune she still remained tone deaf um, I think this is purely a survival kind of section here to get because if we survive it to the end we get another one of those roses um, those life point jars rose paint things and um, after that we also have so I'm this, I'm not sure if it's worth continuing to speak but I are these these crabs are a hell of a lot bigger than they were when we last encountered them thinking about this now I mean when you fight the crabs with your hammer thing they're about your size roughly in this little battle here the crabs are huge, they're about the size of the boat. And so are these giant sharks. They weren't even like that in the earlier playthroughs when the sharks attacked your boat. Now, I think we have reached the end because I don't see any sharks. My god, this is... What the... Where'd the cat come from? Where's the cat ever come from? Is this meant to be like another part of Alice in Mind? I keep wondering about that. Right, now we got to... Let's get back to the game and try and work out what the right direction was to find these clam... baked actresses. Oysters are the presumptive stars of the show. Because basically we've been going through all these doors and they're the wrong doors. I think we've got our right direction. Is that... I'm wondering can I deflect the crabs rocket things? Well, I think I'll try that out later. Just so you know, when I do these swings with the um, hammerhead and then switch... The hammerhead, the horse head and then switch to the sword you can actually unlock an achievement or a trophy for doing well I suppose this is not on PS3 an achievement for doing that you can deflect the ham the rocket things what do you know I think I know what you do when you deflect the rockets they instantly knock over the uh, crabs the problem is getting around to deflecting them it's better to just knock them down and then switch to your sword Okay, what I reckon for fighting these things, you do uh, one, two with the hammer, or deflect that thing there and it knocks over immediately. And you go to hammer because it's your powerful weapon. But do one, two to get it in the ground and knock it over. Then switch to your blade the moment it's down. 
because it's part of the fighting technique you then turn into butterflies after technique is done so you don't get additional damage done to you that one must have felt a little clammy so I decided to stay in bed Easter Island heads everywhere just so you know there's the apparent story behind the Easter Island heads is no one's quite sure how they came about and if you don't know this basically there's an island somewhere in the I think it's South America or some such place which is called Easter Island not quite sure why they named it that but apparently when they went to the when the first explorers arrived on the island there was nobody there but all along the coast there were these giant statues of just pe just heads just purely these statues of heads lined up all along the coastline and it wasn't understood who would put them there because there was no one lived on the island there was no sign that anyone had lived there for thousands of years or any signs that people had lived there at all in the past apart from these giant heads of humans in stone so I probably knowing them they found the island on Easter so they called it East Island for that reason I can't quite remember the reason why it was called that but no doubt they got the inspiration for the heads f that they have and see these stone heads from the East Island thing like so many others See if we can do it. get through this jellyfish collage. Just strange the idea that I remember there's meant to be hundreds of different types of jellyfish and there's one called the box jellyfish that's in Australia and it's apparently one of the, it's one of the most deadly of all um animals, mammals, fish, whatever they are because the box jellyfish is something like if it stings you, you die in about f it was either 3 minutes or f uh, 30 seconds, it was, it was something in the free syllable but it is uncurable in its fast death, evil way which makes it one of the most deadly but jellyfish in general are just annoying Now what do we know about little people flowers? That means there's going to be something? Yeah, I thought there'd be something to jump on. And we have found a secret-esque location. I'm not sure if I should have messed with the saturation so much, because I think that is why the boat's earlier. Indeed. Unusual, when perhaps, such a ball. even extraordinary, but nearly nothing is unique about us. Yours was not the first brick home to be destroyed by fire. I think, anyway, I think that's why the boats were in such a poor state when um, you were sailing it, and the kind of the area around it seemed like purple and stuff like that because I put the saturation at proper high, like 40 50 and it's made watery scenes all yellow oh loading screen really for at least try using the thing now I'm not sure now how I to deflect that shot earlier because I must have used the umbrella but Okay, so I could have used the umbrella instead of using the dodge attack on the um, crab earlier on. I was looking back, by the way, at the at my game, and it was telling me, um, you know, like the game statistics. That on some of the earlier chapters, I haven't seen all the enemies, and I've come to an assumption as to what it's what it means by that basically I think depending on your difficulty level 
is the kinds of enemies you see. We still need the star. The star. The star. So the other one was clammy. That one was shelling out the compliments. Anyway, <laughs> forgot my train of thought. Distracted by making jokes about clamshells. Oh, well, we'll try and move on to something else. Like how that bed is able to float up and down anyway. Isn't it's got no strings attached. It's like an incredibly unlucky deal with a banker. Or I suppose it'd be a lucky deal. If you had no inside like prices to pay. Oh I love these. Now I remember I was saying that um the kind of enemies you face, I think it limits the ones you encounter, depending on difficulty. Because I'm gonna, maybe in the next chapter, change the difficulty from easy to normal and see if I see any new enemies as a result. The well, ones that I didn't see last time I was in chapter 3. It's annoying. It's annoying that a lot of this stuff is straightforward. In where they've hidden it and stuff, you just go, mm, okay, I'll go around the corner here, jump on a couple of stalls there. Oh, there's no way across. I'll just go into small versions so I can see the actual way across. A lot of the, you know, ways you need to go are simple. What is a crab doing out here? The horse doesn't seem to be upgraded yet to level 3. Or has it? Oh, it's been a long time since I've seen the ice fish. Oh, these are tropical fishies. There are an awful lot of them as well. So that seems to have done something. There we are. Destruction has its own rewards. I'm thinking it can't be long now and I'll be able to buy all the upgrades for every weapon. And despite the fact that Alice in Wonderland has a lot of secret achievements because I've been looking at them I'm pretty sure a lot of them are straightforward like obviously they tell you complete the campaign stuff your achievements but I think we all know that there's probably one for beating all the, for beating every time you beat a boss you're probably going to get an achievement or complete a chapter um, certain attacks attack combinations I already know that you get achievements for that because I have gotten one. Collecting weapons is achievements. I'm not quite sure what the others m are. But we'll find out as we go along. I like to... I feel now that having played Alice a second time through you... S ah, well. You start to notice um, things that you missed out on in previous playthroughs. Like, um, I wouldn't have originally noticed. Well, I, I'll get around to it in chapter 3, but basically, there were like scenes that I, s I didn't have the. that I managed to skip somehow. Okay, let's do this very easy block puzzle. Well, this one is not like your ordinary ones because it's basically showing you what it got. It's showing you behind it what the thing looks like. So it's straightforward where you got to move things. Let us resume our place. Da 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 da. Now we can get eaten by another shark. 
This is the area we just left, but I noticed that on the side we have that. Which means we have a memory shard. As we go along in this game, there's a, there's things you start to slowly pick up on. Like, I made what we thought were the mad ramblings of the Mad Hatter last time, which could still be mad ramblings, probably have some sensibility of truth in them. And when this game is completed, no doubt we'll link up the things and go, that's what the Hatter meant, that's what the Carpenter meant, and why they did these things. That's why the that's what the mock turtle meant by you don't care about anyone else. Oh, speak of the devil. That son of a he's destroyed the bridge. The mastermind of a criminal enterprise. This world is not so either or, Alice. And I've done your bidding. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty, the show distraculates the crowd. Shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. Time, time, the time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. Enough of that, Walrus. Start whaling about there being too much sand on the beach. I'll have your blubber for breakfast. Shame on you, Carpenter. You made a promise. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that. Suppose we'll have to watch the rest of this next time. Well, hello. That's going to be an interesting start. For more videos in this series, visit the playlist on our channel at www.youtube.com forward slash cenxgaming.